Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. Right, so I'm sorry I haven't been posting much uh, commentary video recently because I was super super busy. Right, so here I am back with face cam and stuff and we're gonna take down the final uh, Jotun series weekly battle. Right, so this is the water extra. So let's take a look at the achievement. So I got myself a new headphone, so I'm just trying out the mic right, for recording and stuff. So if it goes better than the old one, I'll just probably use this already. Right, and it's weird playing a mobile game with this kind of headphones on. <laughs> right, so, right, uh, achievement. We have Mono Earth. Both team leader and ally are beast, and the healing condition is actually Mono Fire. Right, so looking at the achievement, I think the more challenging one would be Mono Fire. Or, or, or the Mono Beast or Team Leader Ally Beast Alright, so I'm gonna go with the Fire Achievement And I'm gonna try something really really different So I don't know if that will work out or not Alright, because I've never actually seen people use it Okay, so What I'm gonna try is uh, Duo Dipankara Alright, so I know th this team usually people go uh, Match up with um, Yang Jian Alright, so they get, they get the, the Half Earth half fire kind of team. Right, so notice that duo Dipankara that actually uh, there's actually a team skill as well. Right, so instead of uh fire and earth fire and earth um times three, it's actually fire attack times six, right? Six. <laughs> so uh we're gonna try no harm trying, right? So I have no idea if this will actually work. So let's just see how it goes. So basically, uh, we have more enchanted shields. We have we have known that since the first, uh, from the beginning of the Jotun series, we keep getting this uh, enchanted salamander. So we are gonna store a bit here. So oh, I just realized I don't really need to bring converters because uh, by having duo Dipankara, I think both of them generate two runes each yeah so I will have four free fire runes every turn so anyway since we have um, more uh, converters hopefully I can pull this off better right so with this headphone I can totally feel and hear the um, soundtrack of this game really really good right so middle boss we have these two mobs i think it's very very similar to the old the previous few weekly battles we have these two mobs with the buff here so we're gonna go go ahead and take down the the earth one first right so pretty easy task there no issues at all So for this team, I'll actually have to dissolve a, the proper 3-3 tree, tree way for the Earth Rune since we do not have Yang Jian to kind of um, allow us to do the 2 rune dissolve for Earth Runes. Alright, so that's the downside of this duo Dipankara. But nonetheless, I think damage output is very good. Uh, so I don't think there's anything to lose here. Alright, so we got 2 more turns of... Um, Time down the buff. So let's just try to wear that out first. So we got free conversion. Okay, now we can focus on this. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. So it's quite hard to actually spot your initial dissolve for this dual Dipankara team because it's only like you can dissolve two runes and the, that mini L-shaped rune so it's quite hard to actually spot how many batch of runes you're dissolving initially Alright, so here we have uh, Enchanted Shield we do not have enough to make Enchanted so let's just take out the rest of the mobs first Alright, so with that, I totally forgot about Enchantress. So you can uh, actually turn on Enchantress whenever you want. 
and then if you notice that there is like a skull or something and it's CD1 you can't take it down you can actually turn it off immediately right so it's a very very good thing that they implement this because usually people turn on enchanters like let's say joint operations right which is coming up like now uh, there's actually um, sometimes when you activate the skill and then when you come to the next battle you have actually, you can you should like turn it off or something like that so that's one uh, super advantage for this uh, PR enchanters Right, so super powerful, you can see that. Oh my gosh. Oh my, ah, Achilles is not up yet. Done, I think I gotta turn it off. Ooh. Yep, gotta turn it off. Now it's up. So now you can use this, this, okay, this just in case, Wait, just in case it doesn't die. You can go for compulsion too. I would think that this duo the Bankara team is actually quite it's good on its own. Right? You do not actually have to use um the Bankara and Yang Tian all the time. So I find this new the Bankara Yang Tian team pretty OP. Uh I would use it. Right? In fact this um uh, coming void transmigration, the second achievement, which is the three or more humans, I'm actually planning to use that team. Just that I haven't been passing very well. Uh, I made it up to stage battle 35 alright so and I encountered Thor which is the light and dark initial dissolve only in which I have problem using the team <laughs> alright so um, hopefully that void transmigration is gonna be out soon uh, yep so wish me luck so with this we're done with the last uh, weekly battle for this Jotun series alright so sorry for not uploading commentary recently I'll be back like all these commentary videos will be back um, like now because I've got the free time to do so. Alright, so with this I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.